PowerFlex 755 TS Integrated Motion Walkthrough Part 1. This is the first video of a two part series. The purpose of this video is to walk through the steps required to set up the drive before connecting to a controller. The control system demonstrated consists of a compact GuardLogix controller, Frame 2 PowerFlex 755 TS drive using network safety and induction motor with incremental encoder. System wiring is not included in this video. Drive option modules are not always required for integrated motion and depend on the control system. The following options are used in this demonstration. A dual encoder module, an integrated safety functions option module, and a human interface module. The drive main control board and power jumpers must also be configured. Every PowerFlex 755 TS drive has power jumpers that must be connected properly. If the drive is AC fed from a solidly grounded transformer, then install the jumpers. If not, remove them. Shown are the PE jumper connections on a Frame 2 drive. On the left, the jumpers are in the factory installed connected position. On the right, the jumpers have been disconnected. The top rotary dial on the main control board is the control selector. It is shipped in position 0 and must be set to 1 to use integrated motion. The bottom three rotary dials set the IP address. In the demonstration, the factory setting of 999 is used and the IP address will be set using the HIM. There are two jumpers to configure hardware functions on the main control board. The enable jumper can be removed to set the main control board IO terminal as a dedicated hardware enable. However, if a safety option is present, the jumper must be installed. Similarly, the safety jumper enables the use of safety options. It must be installed unless there is a safety option present, in which case the jumper should be removed. The dual encoder option module supports up to two incremental encoders. There are two jumpers to configure. The P3 jumper enables feedback to be shared with the safety option module. The P4 jumper selects 5 or 12 volt encoder supply. The integrated safety function option module has no jumpers to configure. It supports a variety of controller or drive based safety functions. Safety programming is not included in this video, but you will see the use of safety bypass in order to perform startup in the next video. The A6HIM is an optional keypad with integrated navigation capability. To use a HIM, simply install it and power the drive. It can be installed in a remote mount HIM bezel, temporary handheld operation, or installed in the drive HIM bezel. When the drive is energized in motion mode, the HIM will show status information. It can also be used to configure the IP address or view fault information. Safety precautions were followed during the filming of this video and the steps were performed by a qualified person. Be sure that you understand the requirements in your area before attempting any of the steps shown. For more information, see Chapter 1 of Publication 750-TG101. Now that we've covered the details, it's time for the demonstration.
continue to walk through Part 2 to observe the online configuration and startup of this drive. We hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.